Hello everybody and welcome back. We are still with the cellular respiration and today we'll talk about the structure of the mitochondria and the aspect of the cellular respiration. But before talking about this, we have to know that cellular respiration takes place in three successive steps. The first is called glycolysis. The second is called Krebs cycle or citric acid cycle and the last is called electron transport chain glycolysis is called so because it's involved with breaking down the glycolysis into two pyruvic acid molecules which pass through the Krebs cycle. Krebs cycle is called citric acid cycle because it produces citric acid during its succession and electron transport chain is called so because electrons carry the hydrogen or the ATP molecules in order to produce the energy which finally re results from the cellular respiration. So, we will talk about each one of them independently in uh, three videos. So, now we will talk about the mitochondrion. The glycolysis takes place in the cytosol. of the cell, which means it takes place outside the mitochondrion, while both the grip cycle and electron transport chain both takes place in the uh, mitochondrion of the uh, cell of the green flags. So this is a mitochondrion. Mitochondria is the plural and the single is mito chondrion. So this is a mitochondrion. First here we have an outer membrane which encloses the whole mitochondrion. Then we have an inner membrane this inner membrane is folded into uh, group of folds as we can see which are called crista these folds of course increase the surface area the inner surface area of the mitochondrion which increases the ability of the cell to carry its function so the crystal help the mitochondrion to carry its function at the highest efficiency level um, also here we have ribosomes for the protein synthesis for manufacturing the protein and as the proteins are manufactured we shall have some DNA strands
which the protein, which the ribosomes can use the mRNA in order to transcribe the proteins and all these structures are embedded in the matrix of the mitochondria. The mitochondria contains all the essential, essential uh, elements for carrying out the cellular respiration as the coenzymes, the enzymes, um, and also some elements called the cytochromes Those cytochromes are the electrons which are found in the electron transport chain that carry the, uh, the energy in order to be produced at the, as the last step of the cellular respiration. So this is a structure of the mitochondria. At last, Um, we have to know the structure of the glucose molecule is C6H12O6. During the uh, three steps of the cell respiration, the glucose molecule loses the carbon content, hydrogen content, and the oxygen is released. The hydrogen here gets carried in order not to be lost and it's used in the dark reactions in order to produce energy. There are two important hydrogen carriers which are NAD plus and FAD. NAD is an application for Nicotinamide, adenine, dinucleotide. This is an important hydrogen carrier and it's called dinucleotide because it consists of two nucleotides binding together with their phosphate group, one nucleotide containing adenine and the other containing nicotinamide. Well, if AD stands for flavine adenine dinucleotide also the same thing it's a dinucleotide because it consists of two nucleotides binded with their phosphate groups one consists of flavine and the other of adenine when the NAD plus binds with H2O it gives NAD H plus free proton one hydrogen atom and when the FAD binds with the hydrogen it gives FAD H2 and uh, this is it for today. The next time we will talk about the process of glycolysis. And until then, I thank you for watching and see you next time.